Hi Leo, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back. And this is your reading for the 25th of May till the 31st of May 2020. And I hope all my cyber angels are well. And thank you for coming back and sharing and liking the videos and joining me in the life if, when you can. And if you're new, welcome to the channel and I hope you enjoy this reading. Remember it's a general reading. So have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign. Then you'll get a clearer story even more so. And I've got some good news as well for both of you. Um, please subscribe if you're not if you haven't subscribed yet and hit the bell on all and then you'll be um, informed or notified when I go live or when new things are happening um, on uh, on YouTube on the channel. Now the good news is there's going to be a competition shortly and you can follow all the news on my website. I will make announcements in the community on YouTube when a new video or news is loaded up to the website. Um, and you can find all the information uh, of the website and email if you require a one-to-one -one, a, a session or an extended reading from me or you can click on this little white dot in the um, uh, top right hand corner of the video um, that will take you to the website okay my darlings now um, this is the, my new deck, one of my new decks, and that is called the Shadowlands Tarot from Monica Bordersky. And you can win a brand new tarot set of the Shadowlands if you join in, in the competition. And also if you are a member of the channel. So, or you can win the vice versa. I've used this deck so it, it has my energy in it but you'll just have to clear it when you get it if you are the lucky winner and it has a book a th very thick book and the cards and why they are called vice versa is because they're two-sided okay and it is a beautiful deck it's in very good order it's just like new and I would just like to do something exciting um, uh, on the channel and share things with my cyber angels. We've got a cyber family and it's awesome and this is a beautiful deck so if you want to have uh, a chance to win it then please follow me. Okay so that is the second hand deck let me put it that way um, and uh, you can win a brand new tarot deck from the Shadowlands by Monica Browinski and uh, I've also made an interview or I had an interview with her on the Shadow House of Shadows that's this one the Lenormon deck and I will be setting uh, up uh, the uh, details on how to enter the competition okay I've also got the truth mirror truth Lenemon that's also a new deck then my other deck the crystal spirit oracle deck and the white witch deck and the postcard from spirit and I've got all the reviews out there and just go and have a look and enjoy okay so um, Leo here we go the first card you have on the 25th is the Three of Swords. And I've only had the, this deck three days, or two and a half days actually. And I, I love the way he's even got sunglasses to hide his emotions. Remember, this is a shadow deck and we um, you can't read these upside down. They're not meant to be read upside down. But if you want to read them upside down, then you can. But uh, you can, uh, they're so quirky. Uh, I've been chuckling or laughing throughout the readings because they, they really are gorgeous. And you also get a very thick book with them. And it's a good deck for beginners because it goes into the card's meaning, 
then you've got keywords and then the shadows that is really the reverse messages and then uh, messages the message of what the card means sorry I've got that wrong it's the card this happy ghost card well let's take for example the three uh, the three of um, swords so I'm, I can make it more it will come more to life if I show you that okay I've done, you're the only one that I've done this for I don't know why and most probably because I feel sorry that you've got the three of swords okay the three of swords the card okay the three of swords here is a very cool and together city bird which may be a cover-up for how he actually feels like I said his emotions though a survivor he feels torn between his thoughts and emotions as symbolized by his needle pierced heart necklace <laughs> I love it he's really okay fab man I've got a really new necklace here <laughs> keywords survival vulnerability self-esteem engaged healing pride and regenerated those are the keywords now the shadow words are defeated denial disassociation pain depression loss heartache and grief now and then you get the message this card speaks about sorrow especially the pain of loss this is a reminder to examine any deep underlying issues that are being neglected you may be feeling torn between logic and emotions not only is this painful the struggle between our head and heart may create a situation of such dissonance that we shut down completely or dissociate the, uh, to deal with it okay and it goes on and on and on it could also be um, that you uh, financial matters that you've had a loss financially of course and then the reflections is uh, when you meditate then you can ask yourself this or even if you don't meditate how can I see a difficult situation in a positive light what things do I feel conflicted about do I allow emotional and intellectual equal time in my life so do you spend enough time thinking and feeling do I hide my suffering with bravado do I hide my feelings am I closed off will looking at the past hurts help me to heal in this situation what do you think and that is how the card works and how you can learn it's really beautiful so it's also very easy for um, beginners to work with this deck especially I think because it's so quirky you want to get into the book and, and learn and read and play with the cards okay so what are you hiding for this is basically what I'm feeling from this card because he's not looking he's not looking through rose-colored glasses no he's trying to hide his emotions so you've got the house underneath it so you might actually be very much up in your mind thinking and hiding your emotions and you might be isolating because the house feels safe it, it protects us okay so you can see the house as the body you are hiding inside you oh, wow so come on come on Leo come out and share your feelings if you are depressed or upset about a loss okay get out and do some networking go out there and make new friends you're safe you don't have to worry about that okay now that is on Monday not a very good start to the week but it's good advice if you are depressed or if you are hiding you might be worried about money okay you've got the three of pentacles don't worry because you've got recognition for your hard work Ooh. and he's look at the way he's saying here you are I've got it I've done it Wow magnificent and you might be getting a visitor 
Ooh, might be giving you you might be getting a gift. Luck is on your side because you've got the bouquet. Yeah, beautiful. You might nine an ending, okay? And look what you've got. Three three. The angels are with you. Your tide is turning after Monday. So long you come out of your head and go outside and mingle. Again, you've got the world. You've got a three. Two and one is three. So you three is important for you. Well, this is the third card because it's Friday and something has come full circle. What goes up must come down. What goes round goes round. So this is the karma card. If you've done good, you'll get it back threefold. Boom, three. That is what the uh, uh, pagans and the witches believe. You'll always get it back threefold. If somebody's done you wrong, then they'll get it back, back threefold. All good. You might be going on holiday or moving home. Your f a relationship might go up a next level, or you might be getting that promotion. Boom. You might be going up the next level in your work. Good, 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 because you've got the recognition. You you could be meeting a lady. And if you're not meeting a lady, then uh, you might be nurturing yourself. Awesome. You've got number 29, which is an 11. Again, the angels showing you a message. There might be a mother figure uh, that you're going to see, or you will see a mother figure on Friday. Or you might go, because the world also means travel. You might go and spend the weekend with a friend. And you've got discretion. And discretion is an other word for justice. A new beginning, a second time. So if there was an end to a friendship, they might be inviting you to come and stay for the weekend. There will be a second chance, new beginning. Perhaps somebody is wearing a mask. Perhaps that could be you, because at the beginning of the week you're wearing sunglasses. Perhaps you were upset that you lost this friend and you tried to, uh, to get into contact or they got in contact with you um, because you went out and somebody's coming back. So you might have, they might recognize that you've tried your best, okay, to take off that mask and put away that hurts by coming out. But you're still not really open. Listen to your feelings. Your emotions might be heightened, sensitive your psychic ability or your um, uh, intuition. Somebody is wearing a mask. You're in the spotlight here, so you're getting recognition again. This could be of a Pisces. Because the moon represents Pisces. And in this card, it's got a long nose and somebody's dangling. Perhaps you they felt or you felt that you were walking on eggshells that because there wasn't the truth didn't come out or you couldn't let the truth come out and you wore a mask because you lost something or you didn't feel happy and now you're coming out so the truth will come out you can remove that mask now or they can okay listen to your intuition doesn't leave you in the lurch. Trust it. Have faith. You're on the right road because the moon is also spotlight and you are in the spotlight. Okay? And the moon also puts light on your path, so follow that light and you're doing it. Good, good, good. You're f going to the northern note. Okay? Something will come to light because the moon has also got a dark side of it you need more information well if you had an argument and it, the friendship finished there is a second chance that it could start up again but communicate talk talk it out and get the news 
all over energy is news. It could be an invitation, it could be official news. Again, 27, something will come to an end. Where there is an end, there is a new beginning. And you've got the High Priestess. Wow. And she is very spiritual. And she is the Goddess of the Moon. She represents the Goddess of the Moon Goddess. Okay. Listen to your intuitiveness. So spiritually, um, listen to your feelings listen to your emotions go meditate or contemplate and evaluate and don't doubt yourself luck is on your side because you've got the clover and that's the six of diamonds and the six of diamonds is the six of pentacles share and share alike so if you are um, uh, well off then you might be giving somebody a gift or if you're not so well in doubt somebody might give you a gift this could be money this could be listening ear a helping hand luck is on your side beautiful now you have 55 a 10 a new beginning and endings your f reading is full of endings and new beginnings and you've got the sunstone and sunstone is like the rays of sun warmth freedom breaking through definitely if you're coming out you're breaking through so come out of your emotions let them be known talk to somebody about it or if it is concerning a person talk to the person you're breaking through obstacles the power to overcome limitations knowing you can do it you can learn from the past so that if you if if you've done something in the past and uh, like the book said can I learn from my lessons from the past or my memories yes you can because you don't have to make the same mistakes okay learn from the past then you've got the lovers you might be meeting your soulmate this is Gemini the lovers represents Gemini but the lovers also means partnering up this could be in love or this could be in business because you've also got recognition so you can do the work believe in yourself you don't have to feel lost you can do it now we've got um, this is your card because every card in the big arcana um, represents a zodiac sign strength and strength is the lion because in the traditional deck it's a lady that has patience and love and wins the heart of Leo and you are Leo I love this deck because they're great if you're a tattoo freak so go and have a look at the review then you can see all the cards there's 22 you are love that's the message it's not that's not so short you've got the big message on the back <laughs> Dear Leo, even though life seems now to be moving full steam ahead, it's a time to rest. Allow ideas to flow through you and take root in your heart before they reach your mind. That's true. But don't let your heart rule your mind or vice versa. Honor this process by becoming empty to allow for inspiration and the magic of dreaming you might feel lazy and unproductive but we know better just as, as sleep is a way of recharging before renewal you are you in a time for dreaming in this powerful process of co-creation your soul merges with spirit in a profound way so you can receive your music directly from the source and play your part in the symphony of life 
you are being invited to bear witness to the great creation and tune in to what others can't hear. Being spiritual, here you are. We have so many dreams to share with you in the sacred and the invisible. Don't worry, we will wake you when it's time to return with a new dream. No need to set the alarm clock, loving you always. Beautiful message. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. I love it how these cards always come together. They're magic. It makes you think and contemplate. Sit down and think. And helps you to motivate. I hope it does. You too. Okay, Leo. Take care and I hope you've enjoyed the video. Remember, keep an eye on the website and on the community button because I'll uh, let you know when I've uploaded new videos in the community button. So take care, have a beautiful weekend and stay safe and I hope to see you in the life, if not in the next video. Ciao ciao.